My name is Nika from the Challenger Learning Center and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a hand pollinator. In order to do this activity, you guys are going to need a few items. So first you'll need some pipe cleaners. You want a yellow and black if you have them and then a white one. Um, but you can use any color uh, pipe cleaners that you have. Um, if you don't have pipe cleaners, you can also substitute a pom-pom, but these pipe cleaners are just basically going to be our pollinator and we're going to make them look um, like a bee. So again, if you don't have pipe cleaners or you don't have a pom-pom, you can use um, anything that's kind of soft. You can even use a toothbrush if you have it. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create our bee from these pipe cleaners. So we're going to take the yellow and black together and we're just going to start wrapping them around our finger. And this is going to give us a circular shape in the shape of a bee's body. Once you've got a nice shape, you can just pull it right off your finger. And we got our little bee, or the body of the bee. The next we're going to do is we're going to add the wings. So you can take your white pipe cleaner and you can cut it in half. And each of these halves is going to be one of the wings. So we're just going to fold them together into kind of a, a C shape. And we're just going to twist them onto the body of the bee. And there's our bee. So the last thing that this bee needs is something for us to hold him by. So um, in this activity, I'm going to be using a clothespin. And I'm just going to attach that right to the end of his body. And I have my little hand pollinator. If you don't have a clothespin, you can use a popsicle stick and some tape or some glue to get your bee body on. You can use any type of stick. If you're using a toothbrush, you can use a toothbrush. Um, so anything really that'll help us pollinate these flowers. So once we got our bees or other pollinators, we're going to set up our activity. So for that, I have cut out two flowers and we're just going to use these to demonstrate how pollination works. So pollination is when a bee or other insect moves pollen from one flower to another. And this helps produce the vast amount of flowers we have on Earth. So for our experiment, we're going to take some flour or baking soda or any other kind of powdery substance, and we're going to sprinkle it onto one of our flowers. I'm going to sprinkle this right in the center because that's where we would find the pollen in the flowers. Once we got that, we're going to go ahead and use our pollinator to pollinate this other flower. And we'll do that by dipping our bee into the pollen and then tapping him onto the other flower. So you can see how the pollen is being transferred from one flower to the other. And this is how pollination works in real life. So go ahead and try this experiment and try explaining to your friends and family about pollination. Thanks for joining us for this activity and I hope to see you guys when Challenger Learning Center opens back up again.